Greetings and salutations, everybody, and welcome back to, uh, surprise, uh, this wasn't- Shin Megami in Tensei 5. Yeah, this wasn't exactly in the plan, but, uh, earlier episode today was a little short, so, uh, we figured, uh, quick break, let everyone go out, get some lunch, have a, uh, finish up work, and, uh, now, we'll give you guys, uh, a little bit more. Yay! <laughs> Honestly, I'm just surprised. I want to be clear. Small behind the scenes. We were talking just like... I... I, Um, why not just do the fight over and over until you, uh, until we succeed? Um, and I was like, honestly, that might be the best thing to do. Because that's what I did for SMT3 sometimes. When there was like a particularly difficult fight. Mm -hmm. Um, given... I that would be a long episode, so that would mean we would definitely have to cut that down. But that's kind of just what we committed to, because that's what we had. Th we thought that was what it was smartest for us to do. And then we first tried the stupid boss. Yeah. Not that wasn't exactly in the plan for the day. No. I mean, don't get me wrong. Fantastic. <laughs> Wish maybe it didn't happen before we resigned ourselves to doing the fight for two hours. Everything was better once we resigned, once we decided to give up. <laughs> Everything is easier now that I've given up hope. Hydra's essence? Hmm, Hydra. Remember him? Yeah, I, re I remember. <laughs> Toxic Breath, Frenzy Chomp, Fire Breath, Eat Whole, Dragon's Eye, and Rampage. Unique, so <laughs> frenzy chomp five. Dragon's Eye is just a passive accuracy buff. True. Nope. What's his affinities again? Uh, immunity to fire, resistance to ice, and uh, resistance to poison. Oh. Not fantastic, but not awful either. Yeah, if we decide to go for some sort of like your physical build, sure. Yeah, that, that would require a lot of stat investment uh, in order to completely mutate our build. But it is not like wholly off the table, I guess. Mm. Oh no, how do you feel about Nahobino eating things whole? Uh, like a snake. That'd be weird. Young man, didn't your mother teach you to chew your food? I didn't ask you t for your opinion, Aogami. <laughs> oh, hey, it's power. Holy shit, you killed that Chernobyl guy. He was kicking our ass. <laughs> well, I was out exploring. I was tumbling through the air by a sudden gust of wind and up somewhere else entirely. Uh. Are we. Did we backtrack? No. I think he was just confused. I think he backtracked. He backtracked so hard he forgot who we were. <laughs> Walking set of wings and those angel chumps are scared of a little wind. But those dumbasses don't even realize they gotta get bl uh, blown around to get to the other side. Uh, <laughs> oh. Oh, this is the puzzle that got nerfed. Wait, it got nerfed? Yes, apparently this puzzle was so difficult they actually had to hot fix it. Wait, why? Because people couldn't figure out what the hell to do. Wait, nerfed it from what? Did they just remove that? In they did. Did they just not have that NPC? No. Uh, they changed the puzzle. What was the puzzle before? This, but harder, apparently. Like apparently, the puzzle was basically the same as it was, but uh, they made it easier. The cowards. I don't know. Like, sometimes you just wonder why, wait, why is this difficult for you? Atlas being cowards again. Let puzzles be hard. <laughs> Let us think and be stuck in dungeons for 10 hours. I, I don't understand. How do I beat this puzzle? Oh. <laughs> I, I can respect it, They're like, okay, everyone's having trouble with this puzzle, we're going to make it easier so people can actually play our game. At the same time, cope. <laughs> it's an SMT game. 
SMT games get like one puzzle a year. They get one good puzzle a year. Yeah. Let's be honest. Yahweh's universe. Remember the the phases puzzle in a Nocturne? Mm. When you're climbing the tower oh. to the Moray sisters? Did I just accidentally <laughs> get that puzzle right? Maybe. That has a thing over there, but I see a thing over here. Yeah, no, the Moriari sisters puzzle was awful. <laughs> and as much as I don't, as much as I think people over, uh, over hype how difficult the Eridanus puzzle was, I'm not gonna say it's good. What's Eridanus? Eridanus is a dungeon in Strange Journey, which is uh, particularly infamous for its teleport maze. Ah. Which. I think people are overselling it on how difficult that teleport maze is. I'm not gonna sit here and say it was easy or fun. Cause it it, it wasn't. True. But you can like a boss I mean a puzzle doesn't need to be easy or hard in order to be fun. Exactly. But you can have a hard puzzle that's fun to figure out and to you know. Yeah. It could feel rewarding because you did it by yourself and you figured it out with using what the game gave you. Also, I uh, forgot to mention this at the start of the episode. Uh, we have reverted ourselves back to normal. Um, Mostly. Probably gonna grab uh, profaned land uh, upgrades at some point. Oh wait, no, we don't have to some point. Uh, Chernobog dropped a large glory crystal. Oh, that is true, yeah. <laughs> I love how the game... Uh, has the game given us a large glory crystal after I've acquired boss before? I know they do after the fiends. Welcome. I don't remember. I think that might be the first time the game just said, Yeah, no, that was bull. Here, you wish to have a hundred dollars. Yeah. Yeah, uh, upgrading... Upgrading profane land seemed like a really good idea, considering I think it is our hardest hitting move right now. Yeah, that or Agidine. And I think all the... Oh, Kinky. I think all the Naobi specific skills are pretty good. Because, I mean, the game wants you to use the Naobi specific skills, so kind of makes them good. Yeah, Ruinous Thunder is 200 base, Agudine is 215 base, and Profane Land is 240 base. Huh. But here's the big question. Top or bottom? <laughs> Says the kinky. Middle. <laughs> Show me what you got in the middling price range then. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, hey. There you go. You can just buy more. Eh, fine. I'll, I'll allow it once. Walk over Confusion Gem. I think you've had enough. So much for my free ride. Your stock all full. You just like sardines in there. Better make some room get back to me. Oh, wait. All right. Bye. <laughs> and he will join us if we find him again. We just gotta kick someone out. True. Let's let's do that. I love Who it do when... Who want to kick out? Uh... Mushu? Yeah, Mushu. Yeah. Mushu was definitely the weakest of the bunch. Whom Honda pro uh, or Orthus probably as well. Do we need skills from either of them? Um. Not, no. Maybe. Yeah. Not really. All right, that's good. I, I, always, I love it when, uh, I forget uh, whether we found it or whether I saw it on a Twitter post, but if you get that interaction with Mothman, uh, when you meet Mothman again, he goes, Well, if it isn't the dumbass with too many friends! Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, we I don't think we've gotten that one. That's, I love everything that comes out. They basically made Mothman a fucking jerk, and I love it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Hey, Kinky. Go in our party, please. Look, it's new. Don't care. Didn't ask. 
Oh, hey, you're the one guy. The guy had too many demons with him. You got a spot open yet? That's what I'm talking about. Nobody likes a crowd party, get me? I'm Brute Kinky. Good to meet you. Nice. I love that that's a thing. Like, he's just like, oh, hey, uh, you got a spot? Cool. I, I appreciate it, man. Sorry about that earlier. <laughs> and uh, off, off the battle bus. Shock endure. He comes with Endor. Oh, nice. Uh, a few people have suggested take us taking Endor, which, uh, Endor's on the table. But it's just like, it's going to be something that I think we need to really plan around. And I think Endor is on the table, but I think it should be something that we take mm, probably late game. Yeah, something. it's going to be something we take with intent. Probably to fill a very large trumpeter-shaped hole. <laughs> I'm crying because we're going to have to take on trumpeter. We're gonna have to fight Trumpeter at some point. Yeah. We're gonna have to. Robin's get, Robin's PTSD is gonna go, you know. Hey, it cannot be possibly any worse. <laughs> oh, I, I hate the fact that you can hit them and still lose initiative. That's so stupid. True. Like, it wouldn't even be as bad bad if you just get the first guaranteed turn. Because it... Because, like, unlike in uh, SMT4, where you actually do some damage when you get the uh, hit, mm -hmm. like, it, it wouldn't even be overpowered if you just get the first turn here without dealing damage to them. So, like, you know. Yeah, yeah I don't... I think it's an increased chance of getting first turn, but it's definitely not guaranteed, and I think that's, I think that's lame. What's up here? Yeah. So I think even Dragon Quest XI, uh, lets you go first if you hit them. Yeah. But like, it's not a new concept, and it's not a concept people complain about. They'll just let it stay. Right. I don't know. If there's no difference between attacking them to get the, uh, attacking them and not attacking them, then why can I attack them? Atlas is very weird when it comes to balance philosophy. Atlas doing an Atlas. What else is new? Mm -hmm. Exactly. Speaking of Atlas, Atlas not knowing how to balance a game? Shocker. Atlas not realizing people want to play their games? Shocker. <laughs> I still think it's so bizarre that people have to, like... They ran a survey. Would you be interested if we re-released Persona 3, 4, and the earlier 1 and 2? Have you been ignoring everybody? Wait, 1 and 2? Uh, I think it was, it might have just been 3 did, and 4. Did, did, one and, did 1 and 2 win? <laughs> no, like, they, it was just like a general... If we were thinking about... Oh, Grimoire. Wait, are those... Oh, no, those are... Okay. I thought those were Gospels, and I was going to be like, can we actually use Gospels without feeling bad? No. But, uh, yeah, no. I think I, I might, it was at least three and four. But they ran a survey saying, if we were to uh, re-release our old games, would you be interested in buying them? To which the global response on Twitter was, are you guys just not listening to us intentionally, or is this a joke? Like release Persona 5 Royal for Nintendo Switch. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> that, oh, that poor Goomba guy. Oh, I actually feel bad Goomba. for him at this stage. <laughs> like, <laughs> he's been port begging for three years. It ain't gonna happen anytime soon, I guess. <laughs> A crumb of Persona 5 on the Switch. Like, at this point, I feel bad for the guy. <laughs> Hey, no, we got a crumb. We didn't didn't Strikers release on Switch. <laughs> uh, that's true. It did, and it ran kind of bad. <laughs> what Persona Five Royals? Okay, so P Five R's coding is complete garbage. You think they're gonna be able to modify the code to fit a Switch? Yeah. Without completely breaking it. I remember there was one time, I was one of the Persona models I follow, I don't remember which. Uh, someone mentioned, um... 
the N the AI of NPCs on the open world is based on Joker's position, uh, which is tied to the camera's position. So if you move the camera away from uh, Joker and then have him talk to someone like Takemi, the game will crash. What? <laughs> Why? <laughs> I don't know. It was something like that. It was one of those that made me just look. Huh? What? Why, why they do that? <laughs> There's also three different unoptimized models of Adam Cadmon in Royal's files. Yeah. And like, aren't Switch games built kind of different? So you have to... So when you port things to Switch, you have to... Like, put in extra work just to get it to function? I've heard about that. That sounds... I don't like know if that's true or not, but... I don't know. With Persona 5's coding, uh, it wouldn't surprise me if it takes, if it never comes to Switch. Yeah. I mean, this is the same company that uh, had every single model, ev uh, Persona 3, this is one of my favorite ones to talk about. In Persona 3, every single model is tied, to, every single stat block is tied to its own individual model. Um, so even enemies that look exactly the same, if they have multiple stat blocks, then they have multiple models in the game's code. Nick's avatar has 14 forms. Mm. Yeah. Each with a different health bar. Yeah. And a different set of moves. True. This means that there are, at the very least, 15 different models for Nick's avatar present in the code. One for every single combat model, and then an additional one for cutscenes. Yeah. Which is the stu- And like, Nocturne HD came to Switch, didn't it? Yes. I feel like Nocturne is built better than Persona 5 in terms of code, considering how much punishment SMT uh, Nocturne can take. Oh, yeah. In terms of abuse. <laughs> As some of y'all might have seen in some of our Nocturne streams in the past. Yeah, there were times we just like took to uh, saying, hey, uh, what if we did this? What if we did that? Oh, the game is still running. The game, the game can sometimes run all three reason bosses at once, but other times it can't. And then other times it just refuses to just do anything. <laughs> No, what it, it, what's better about that is that whether or not it can run all three reason bosses at once is entirely dependent on whether or not uh, on the order that they spawn in. But the fact that it can still be possible to run them at once is funny and amazing. Yeah, no. Um, on the topic, I actually, uh, I joke, uh, we joked about maybe setting up a bounty for that, and I've actually kind of been soft saving to do that because I would still be interested to see if that would be possible. Through, uh, what was the bounty again? Um, I joked like uh, twenty dollars, and you said a hundred. So I don't know, fifty or a hundred. But yeah, no, I wanted to. I was. I've been debating. I've been debating getting a whole like uh, fifty dollars for like fifty or a hundred dollars for a mod where. Uh, you could fight all three reasons, because here was the problem, I should clarify, uh, in case anyone's not been here. So the problem with the reason bosses is that all of them are scripted once you beat them that the fight is over, because, duh. So mm -hmm. if you end the fight with any of the reason bosses, it doesn't matter that the others are still alive. The game says you beat a reason boss, we need to stop the fight, which kind of means it's impossible to actually have a fight with all three reason bosses at the same time unless you kill them all simultaneously with an all hit. So I would be interested to see if a mod could be created where um, that was disabled and it only ended a fight once all the enemies were dead. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, no, that was kind of what I've been... That was kind of the idea I had. Is this not working? Yeah. And Robin will pay $100 to anyone who can do that. 
once I have a hundred dollars to spend on that. <laughs> yes. But yeah, no, like that was an idea I had and I have been kicking around, so. I already know a couple of SMT modding discords that I could post that to, so like, I would at least be able to get the board decently out if I wanted to do that, you know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. Oh, hey. We got that we got that one back. Thank God. Thank God. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay. So where are we going? I hey look, it's Pazuzuzu. Pazuzu. Pazaza Zuzu 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 Zosu. Zosu. Oh, okay. the new way. We, we've been here. This dungeon's so weird. Dungeon. I mean, this is just classic Atlas design dungeon. No, yeah. Let's face it, Atlas does not know how to make dungeons. No. They don't know how to make good, complex dungeons. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure that's a cold take. Yeah. Work? Well, maybe look at the timing. So it's gonna. So they they alternate. But they don't alternate in a way that works. What about these? See? Is there a way you can jump towards that one up top above you? Why do they work like that? And they, they hold so that you can't cheese it. Okay, wait. Like, no, can't on. you... Uh -huh. I might just be able to... Yeah, can't you just sprint? <gasps> like, can you, like, sprint towards it? Maybe. For the momentum? Almost. Almost. Yeah, right. you can almost sort of do it. Uh, oh. yeah. Almost. Yeah, it, he kind of stops. He kills your momentum. Well, what if... Can't you run and jump at the same time, though? Um... Like, can you... Can you... Can, have you tried... S Sprinting and jumping at the same time, is that a possible thing you can do in the game? Yes, you can. But, oh, whoa! Yeah, no, the second, it, it puts you to a certain height, and then it, like, jerks you around. That's weird. Like, it jerks... Yeah, can't you jump on the one that's, like, can you jump towards the one that, look, go, look at the other one? This one over here? Uh, to the left. That one, you can't, no, you can't jump towards it. It's too high. Well, maybe you can jump towards the bottom one from up here and it'll take you higher. Oh, not there. I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm looking, I'm trying to figure this out. Oh, okay, you just, that one right oh, there. Oh, yeah, that one. You're over there complicating things. <laughs> Easy. That, that, that all that stuff there lies, deceit. Ooh. Look, we're going down. We're finally going to the basement. Oh, there's your lunga. That's a fun boss. The Lucifer is in the basement. We are going down to the basement. I'm not shocked. Well, you said last time, what if we make them go up, but I'm actually in the basement? It turns out it's, he actually is in the basement. But... 
Lucifer tactical genius. Well, what if he makes us go to the basement, but he's actually at the very top? Oh, no. <laughs> the double play. Pazuzu. Ooh, Pazuzu's essence. Uh, oh, wait. Hang on. That actually looks like a good essence. Um, Ice Week. Uh, Force Resistant, but again, Dark Null, so not bad. Uh, Resistant mm -hmm. towards Tentarafu, which is interesting. Mm-hmm. Uh, Xandai, Mamadoon, Tentarafu, Safeguard, Dark Block, Dekaja, and Great Mana Spring. Safeguard being if being evaded, null, drained, repelled, does not consume additional press turn icons. So, you only lose the one turn you would have lost rather than both of your turns, which doesn't help us at all. Real. What about this one? Oink. Kinky's essence. Well, we, well, we don't need Kinky anymore. <laughs> yeah. Well, we, we could use him, but like... Yeah, alright. We take those. Cool. Neat. Oh. Okay, thank god. Dude, look at you. You made it all this way. Yeah, how did you, you, you piece of shit? You could have helped... You could have helped with Chernobyl. Does he impress you, does I? Then perish the thought of advancing, for the para lying in wait would annihilate you. Is that insulting me, or is that insulting him? Like, oh, you think he's like that? Sounds like, oh, you think he's impressive? You should just give up now, then. I feel like she's bashing both of us. I don't know. As for you, I will admit I did not expect you to make it this far. Clearly, I underestimated you. Thank you. However, I've received word that all contact with the Dominion has been lost. Regrettably, this confirms uh -oh. my suspicions of the danger ahead. Brave though you may be, hone your wit to its keenest edge, should you intend to proceed. Hey, you're gonna have to play smart to beat this next fight. Does I, now that you've confirmed his well-being... Like I we haven't been? <laughs> safety. Uh, okay. But, uh, listen, Master Archangel, once we take down the Demon King, Tokyo and the rest of the world will finally be safe, right? In that no. case, let me help. Even if it does mean putting myself in danger, I'll give it everything I've got. I understand you are eager to walk the path of righteousness in the service of our Lord. But good intent does not guarantee good outcome, does I? You are merely fodder for the Demon King's foot soldiers as you are now. Wow. He's been, like, grinding with demons and everything? Turning back here will surely save your life and ease the heart of your friend. Oh. I was hoping I could come with. But she's right. I'd only end up getting in your way. Guess I'll head back to the entrance and hold off any reinforcements. That ought to help some. Aww. Wow. Fear not. I shall escort him to the gate. You're too weak. Go home. You go on ahead, Nahobino. Muster your forbidden power to its full extent and vanquish our sworn enemy. Hey, girl. And that was kind of mean. I mean, she's an angel. They're not exactly nice people. No, I know, but it was still kind of mean. I'm gonna save just so I don't do that cutscene again. True. Yeah, no, nah, I'm I'm waiting for I'm waiting for the moment when Dazai becomes like Dazai fuses with Abdiel or something and becomes like the supreme overlord. God Spear turns into like a super turbo angel or something. Super turbo archangel. Yeah, Mark Seven. He, no, Abdiel and Dazai fuse because of some ancient historical prophecy of an angel and a human fusing and they become the Metatron. Oh no. That would be weird. That like, wouldn't surprise me. Hey, look, a bead. Yeah, hey. I think that's two of them. Oh, hey, Floros. Uh, do we want you? Not really. Uh, he wants to square up with me. Unfortunately, I'm too fast. 
<laughs> I forgot that's the noise they made. <laughs> they sound like a. They sound like something from Super Mario RPG. Right. I was gonna say they sounded like Doodle Bob. Then Doodle Doodle Bob. Me me Hoyman Neumann. Oh God. Gotcha. Oh jeez. They're Whoa, so they're nice. they're cooming swoops. There we go. What does Flores give us? Uh, let's find out once we are in relative safety. Uh, Vistor, Agidine, Critical Aura, Damascus Claw, Black Draco Strike. Decent way to get All back right. to some of us of uh, the skills we have if we ever find ourselves uh, dropping them. And Real. Fire Knoll, uh, Dark Resistance, Ice Week, a lot of Ice Week recently. And uh, Week to Sleep. Yeah, we're facing a lot of fire type. Like fire type demons, kind a lot, of. A lot of fire, a lot of dark. Makes sense, Lucifer. I always thought it was weird Lucifer had ice moves when he had fire. True. Oh, wait, we ba we're back here. Oh, no, 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 thanks. Doesn't your longer have deer on? He does. Wait. Oh, we already have your longer's essence. Yeah, exactly. We could totally grab Diran. If we wanted to. And that's honestly a big question. Like, a lot of this stuff is like... Why he run like that, though? I don't know. He runs like an anime schoolgirl. <laughs> he runs like he's forgotten his toast. <laughs> it's... He's late for his first day in high school. He's running with toast in his mouth. If I'm late for my first day of demon class, Lucifer Sensei will put me in detention. <laughs> <laughs> that one hurt you in a way you weren't expecting. Yes. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that one. Why is he just spinning? Your lunger was just spinning around I told in a you. circle. Oh, he disappeared. Oh no, there he goes. Like watch him. Like let's see what he'll do it again. It looked funny from far away, so I'll. <laughs> I don't know. He was. Wow. <laughs> He has some good eyes. I can trade eyes you. Oh god! I don't know, it looked like he was spinning around, like circling himself. Right. I don't know if it was just the camera angle or what. But anyways. It's not just very strangely laid out. Well, just look at your mini map. What I'm doing, and I feel like I'm getting lost. Black means you're on the bottomest floor. Except for when it the lighter the objects on your map is, the higher up they are. Yeah, basic, uh, basic mini-map topography, you would yes. think. Now so... use your knowledge to beat this dungeon. Then, alright, as I thought, nothing here, so we want to go up. Yes. Yes. That's over there, so now we gonna go down here. Alright. So now we're in this area. And there's another set of stairs over here. Yep. Then we're going to go this way. Ah, I think okay, we jump over here. I, mi I, I somehow missed this. Somehow. Yeah, I don't know. How'd you miss? It was three feet in front of you. How did you miss? Easy. Uh, that is correct. There appear to be two directions. Oh, there's an item over there. Uh, yeah, no way to traverse. 
All right, so let's go the other way. This was a fake. A ruse. It was a, it was a blunder. A blunder, bless. Oh, that one! I almost fell right there. <laughs> uh, we did not fall on the blunder bus. Forty grand. Ooh. Cool. Sick. Lucifer just, just has four hundred dollars <laughs> laying around. Literally. Yeah. Like, without hyperbole, he just that, leaves that around. Uh, okay, so. Oh yeah, because I think there was an item there, and then we jumped down to get it. Yeah. And then... So we went up here, over here. Aren't you trying to get to the stairs on the right? Maybe bottom right, mid right, or maybe that path to the top? Maybe? Can't go this way. Oh wait, no, you... oh. Or can we? I'll we can. Follow the... Oh, yeah, this. that seems right. Dodge. Okay. All right. I'll figure it out. Yeah, it's a bit of a weird, windy path, but yeah. it's not terrible. Got a bit of a maze. Um, More games should use 3D maps yeah. for 3D games, like Metroid Prime does. This is... Gate. This is just... oh, hey, jump! That's basically what it's saying, yeah. Uh... Is that where I need to go? Yeah, alright. Yeah? Wasn't exactly sure. Wanted to double check. What's over here? <laughs> Nothing. Wait, were we just here? No, we couldn't be because we just got here. Yeah, we've never seen these guys before. Or at least not here. Uh, and there is a chest at the bottom? Yep, there it is. Uh, and if we went down there, what would we have to redo? Uh, what's that? Oh, that's just right there. Uh, okay. Yeah, this is fine. Watch it be like one Maka. Charge gem. Uh, that might have been good on another, uh, another time. Oh, God! <laughs> he didn't like that comment earlier about, about running like a schoolgirl. True. He's very embarrassed about the way he runs. He can't help it. <laughs> oh, oh, oh! Uh. uh, where did that put us? Well, th no, there's, there's stuff over there. Oh, okay. It put us in the pit of New A's. Yeah. Thankfully, we want to be in the pit of New A. True. There's nothing over here, but then over here, there's a door. Third stratum stairs. There we go. We uh, made it. All right, whether or not we continue up from here, I guess it depends upon what's down here. Oh God. <laughs> more dungeon. All right, next time on Dragon Ball Z. Yay, more dungeon. See ya. They up.